Thanksgiving is just two days away, but the big holiday that's on a lot of people's minds is Christmas. As you come out to get that perfect Christmas tree this year, expect to see some big changes. The parking lot outside St. Ignatius Catholic School is already looking like Christmas, but when the lot opens later this week, it's going to have a different feel. Every aspect of our lot has been affected by, by the spike. Um, the processes that we use, customer flow to prevent um, bunching, how customers come onto the lot. Mike Benson is a scoutmaster with Troop 351 who runs the tree lot. He's been working around the clock to make sure it's going to be safe. He reconfigured the lot so there's more space. He added hand sanitizing stations and removed tags on trees to reduce touch points. One thing that'll be noticeably different for customers this year at Scout Troop 351's lot along Southeast Powell, there's going to be a drive through option. That way it minimizes how many people come in and out on foot. A cashier will come to your window and take payments there. The scouts will take the tree out of that individual stand, take it to the cutting station for a fresh cut, a shake, a bale, and they'll deliver it to your car side. It's not just tree lots that are making changes, so are local Christmas tree farms. Tom Norby is the president of Oregon Christmas Tree Growers Association and the owner of Trout Creek Tree Farm. He says many farms are keeping it simple this year, just selling trees and nothing extra like holiday decorations. There's not going to be as many lots out there this year. Uh, some of the lots decided not to open because of the COVID. Uh, some reduced their location. One thing is for sure. I think people are just really ready to get this season started. We all should be. You know, it's time to end 2020 with a massive celebration. People are ready to start celebrating the season of giving. Joe Ranieri, KGW News.